welcome back to my second little sit down YouTube video. Last time at the end I said that I was going to do a little Gigi Marmont Gucci bag kind of review because um, this February marks the point where I've had this bag for one year. So I know I get a lot of questions on Instagram about how the velvet wears in comparison to the leather. Obviously I can't compare it to the leather because I don't have the leather. But what I can do is tell you how I think it's worn over the past year and whether I think it was worth the money and whether I regret buying the velvet and thinking that maybe I should have bought the leather to last longer. So first of all, let me tell you about my story of buying this bag. It's the first and probably only designer bag I've ever bought. I have bought pieces from Vista Outlet Village before and I've been gifted bags but all probably under £500, gifted probably no more than like £300. Um, this was 870 I believe. It wasn't something I was wanting, it wasn't something that I'd saved up for. Um, I My boyfriend actually worked around the corner from the Gucci store. I went in there, I think it was during last February Fashion Week, which by the way I didn't do anything for. I was invited to a few like lunches and gifting lounges but I was just a nobody so I didn't do anything really. Um, so there was really no need for me to be like, I need a Gucci bag. Um, anyway, I went into the store and they were just asking me loads of questions. I felt really uncomfortable because I just like was clearly not going to buy something. And I knew that this bag was like sold out everywhere, the little velvet one. So I just thought I would ask for that and then they'll say, no, we don't have it. And then they'll just get off my back. Um, anyway, so I asked for that and she was like, oh yeah, we've got one left, you're really lucky, we don't normally have this, like, it's on hold for someone, but if you want it, you can have it, because it's been hold on hold for quite a while, and they haven't come and got it. So anyway, I was like, ah, oh, thanks, and like, started trying it on, and then, you know, when I literally was like, a moment from friends, like, I pull it on and I was like, wow, I look radiant. I need it. So anyway, then I was like, I can't like just leave here. Oh, it looks so nice with this top. It just looks great with everything. Let's just put that out there. So anyway, I was like, I can't like if I go and meet my boyfriend now. Like, he's I've never bought anything designer before. I've never been into it. He'll just be like, what the hell is wrong with you? We could have gone to South Africa or something. So. um then I went to meet him and I told him the story and he was like, you should have just got it. And I was like, what? Who is this? What have you done with my boyfriend? So anyway, I didn't. I went home and I just thought, I'm just really sad about the bag. Couldn't stop thinking about it. Called them, asked if I could pay over the phone. They said no. So Sinead was going back, my sister who was doing fashion week like full blown she's a successful blogger youtuber she was going back to fashion week the next day and i asked her if she could go and get it for me and basically she was like no i'm not carrying around a big gucci bag all day it's bloody freezing it's out my way i've got meetings all day and i was like devastated and my mum and sister like the worst influences and they were like go to london and get it i mean for me spending 870 pounds on the bag is a lot i'm not going to spend another 50 pounds to go there and get it i mean in hindsight now it doesn't seem that bad but at the time i was like you guys are reckless not doing that so anyway, then I managed, I think I said to Sinead, I'll transfer you £900 and you can keep the change. And then she did it. Like, bribery. That girl is easy to bribe. 20 quid, she's only once. So, yeah. Sinead went and got it for me and then it came back. Maybe I should get the box out and show you the box and stuff that it came in. So I know that Gucci do different boxes for different collections and the what time that I bought it, this was the box that came in, which I really love. I think it is a beautiful box. And um, I don't think the dust bag's inside, but obviously then I came with a dust bag. Oh, it's red inside as well, which I love. And... Um, 
this just had loads of tissue. This was a tissue inside my bag, which I've kept because I was like, I'm going to put it back inside every night. Don't think that happened once. Some nice pink tissue. So yeah, the bag comes. It comes. So yeah, it comes in a nice box. I think. Maybe sometimes just a white kitchen. one. I think actually they did give the choice whether you could get the special packaging or the normal classic packaging. And Sinead called me and I was like, special there. So um, that is how I ended up with a bag. I'm not going to lie, I had a few freak out moments after that where I was like, oh my god, I've just spent the most money I've ever spent. Like, I haven't even spent that much money on a holiday before. I think my computer was the, my computer might have even been cheaper than that. That's actually scary. Not dawned on me before. But yeah, that is the most expensive thing I've ever bought. So, let's get into the review part. First of all, someone's at the door. So, first of all, I just want to say that if we're talking about cost per wear, this is, you know, so cheap. I have worn this bag to death. So, I mean, if you're not going to do that, I have literally mean I've worn it every day. Like, I've accidentally worn it to nightclubs when I've ended up going out and staying out, um, which is not something I would definitely do, plan doing. I would definitely, if I thought I was going out, be like, I'll leave the Gucci at home. Um, so, cost per wear... It's, this has been through thick and thin with me. It is velvet, so it is going to wear a little. Um, so let's start with the chain, and the chain is in absolutely perfect condition. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. The velvet, I would say, the only thing, the main comment is it gets a bit linty, like it needs a lint rolling all the time. Um, this bag has only been cleaned once by my mum. Um, because I bet her. I mean, if I were a better person, I'd be looking after it all the time. So I do feel like you could get more life out of it from that as well. Um, another thing is there's some slight, like, graying around the edges. I don't know if that is um, wear and tear um, or it could be washed. Because, like I said, I don't, I don't take, you know, this is literally raw. This is how it is after using it day in, day out for a year. Because um, I haven't been taking good care of it. Not going to lie. Um, the GG is a tiny bit scratched and tarnished. I don't know if you can see that. And the main bit where it gets marks is here where you're constantly like touching it. Um, so yeah. Apart from that, the velvet, I would say, is pretty good. The only other thing I would say, which is a problem, is here, I don't know if you can see, there's some real wear into the velvet, where the strap has been when I'm wearing it long. But do not let you that put you off. Because the other day I saw someone, after a year, wearing it like this, and I thought, why? the beep have I not been doing that for the past year I bet her bag is perfect slip that through there so that this bit sits I mean what a gem house how simple how simple and that will I guarantee you if I had been doing that see this is going to turn into just a Gucci tips video I mean channel even if I'd done that this bag would be as new, especially if I'd actually been like looking after it and stuff. Um, so yeah, another thing is, I think this is a great size. One of the things I've noticed that Gucci bags do do the next size up. I don't know if, I think this is a small or the many, but I'll link the bag below anyway. Um, but this is, I think, the smallest size. I don't know if this comes in leather, but the next size up that is in leather and velvet I have noticed that it looks quite flat after time, like this bit kind of goes into a point, like an envelope or a piece of paper, whereas I love this one because it's still quite rounded and puffy and it keeps its shape. Um, I love that it's velvet as well because I think it looks nice as an evening bag, but it's not too small to be a day bag. Um, I love having it on my shoulder, so I love wearing it like this. This is obviously like one of my favourite ways to wear it. 
because it's just easy. I actually don't mind it with this. This might be a bit too much for some people. Um, obviously, this isn't like a lookbook or anything. This is just what I'm wearing today. So, yeah, I do like it. Love it across the body. I also love it just hanging down at the side like this. I just think it's a great bag. I do not regret one instance buying it. I'll tell you another reason why I would suggest getting it if you're thinking about it. I paid £870. It's gone up to, I think, £1,000. So even if I sold it in this condition, I'll probably get what I paid for it because the original price has gone up. That will probably keep happening. So if you want this bag, which is a classic, you should just get it because it's like Chanel's, like, you just get it because next year it's going to be more and next year it's going to be more and then you'll think, oh, I just, I should have got it years ago. So I know I haven't really gone through that many factors, but the point in that is because there's nothing wrong with it. I love it. It's my baby and I'm so happy I bought it. I'm really sad about this, but that shouldn't deter you because now I've shown you the light that wouldn't happen to you and oh i just love it so much it's so beautiful it just still makes every outfit look expensive like i can wear jeans and trainers and then just put this on and it just is so luxury with like the gold and the black velvet and it's a great evening bag as i've said and a great day bag um, I'm just going to talk you through kind of what I can fit in it. I can fit my camera in it, but it kind of takes up the whole room. It has got a little pouch on the inside. The inside is also a beautiful pink silk, which just adds to the loveliness of it all. I normally can fit in here um, a couple of bits of makeup essentials, like a bronzer and maybe a lipstick and a mascara and then I normally fit in a little card holder, my phone and that's uh, keys. I would probably sacrifice my charger and phone into my pockets and put a camera in there. I don't think, I'm going to be honest, you could fit my camera and them but that's because I've got quite a big lens. Um, if you have like a really pancake lens I'm sure it would be fine. So yeah, 100% would advise buying this if you've been thinking about it. It's love of my life. I'm never bored of it. I'm never going to stop wearing it. And I haven't really, I bought a Miu Miu bag at Bista because A, I'd had a few Proseccos and B, I, it was not that expensive. But anyway, I haven't really used it if I'm honest. This is still my baby and I haven't felt the need to go out and buy another designer bag or save up. And do you know what I do love about this? Like I didn't save up, I just put it on and I was like, I love it, I want it and I got it. And I just, I'll always remember like when I just tried it on and was like, wow, because I hadn't built myself up to go in there and be like, I'm going to go and get a Gucci bag, I know what I want, I know this, I know that. And then stand there and make that tough decision. It was just like... A, a panic moment and then I tried it on and I just fell in love and then Sinead went and got it for me so yeah I hope this hasn't been too long and um, just blabby because I realised my last video is very chatty but thanks for all the support on that because you I had so many views and I've only got like a hundred subscribers so um, I really am pleased that so many of you messaged me and found that helpful and I'd love to see all your new Gucci belts. Um, and let me know if you buy the bag or if you've been thinking about it because I would love to know. And to wish you well with your new beauty. Um, another tip is that my mum, when she cleans it, like with this little bit, she just gets like a dry toothbrush and just like brushes the suede back up and then it's pretty much as new suede velvet. So yeah, in high, in to finish up, the velvet is not a bad idea at all. When I first got it, I also got loads of messages from people with the leather saying, oh my God, I'm so in love, I'm so jealous. I wish I got the velvet, but I just didn't because I didn't think it would last that long and it wouldn't wear as well. So yeah, and also my friend Lucia has the leather and we take pictures of our bags together, like having coffee and stuff, and they're just both as bad as each other, not gonna lie. So, yeah, there's no winner. So, 
yeah but do let me know also i'm gonna try and do a little um like get to know me video all the questions that people have asked so far for it have been about blogging like how do you get into it how long have you been doing it how do you work with brands but i feel like get to know me are more like what's your favorite cereal so if you've got any good questions for me just let me know or i'm gonna have to just google my own so please subscribe I will see you next time. Also, this t-shirt, just quickly, because I know people will message me on Instagram, is from Weekday, and I just got it, and I love it. I love the font, I love the colour. This is a mohair cardigan from Zara. These are jeans that I just got also from Weekday. I'll try and link them all below. This is a belt from Gucci, obviously. <laughs> Um, a necklace from Fawnstar, a necklace from Tilivius, I think that's how you say it, and these bits of jewellery are from My Fades, Astrid and Mew, um, Cushions, H&M Home. I'm going to do a house tour as soon as I can, but I'm just waiting on a few bits from collaborations that I want to include in it. Um, this jar is something I picked, my mum actually picked it for me, a ginger jar from... TK Maxx home and I've always been like the ginger jars of the future and everyone's like a bit fuddy duddy. God, I love it. And this print is from Decenio. Everything else will be in my house tour which I'll do on YouTube as well. So thanks for watching. <laughs>